how you doing everybody welcome to my channel you two can be great this is episode two of what's wrong with you episode two because i already posted episode one those of you who have not yet seen it please go ahead after this video click on just go back and review the videos that i posted if you're not getting the updates or the reminders check it out i promise it will not disappoint it was well entertaining and i was telling somebody off and she deserved to be told off for those of you who haven't seen it yet go watch it let me know what y'all think about my episodes and let me know what topics you would like me to discuss so i can look forward to doing it on pre on following episodes of what's wrong with you now today i beat my face for y'all what y'all think my new dreads and everything I'm just playing <laughs> but no for real I wanted to look good for y'all I'm at home doing this it's a Monday I figured you know might as well but today's topic we're gonna go ahead and get into it because today's topic we're gonna talk about this Evelyn hypocritical ass god look cloud chasing ass here she is again now we already know that they told us that she might not show up on the next basketball wives episode or the next basketball wife season because she's apparently tired of the drama that her herself is usually in or starts on her own with her just dumb ass and we heard that she might not be able to she might not be willing to do it because we don't know about her contract being renewed because of what happened with the drama with her and OG so now she's finding other more unique ways to make herself relevant recently we know that her ex-fiance the guy that she was engaged to for four fucking years I don't know how the hell you can be engaged to somebody for four damn years why what is the issue some was wrong but she had a son by him and when they broke up it was because he cheated on her but he recently got a uh he recently got arrested with an alleged charge of dv and i guess evelyn's stance that she's taking is i've been getting all these blogs and all these emails and dms asking me to speak on it and da 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 i don't know why she felt the need to speak on it because i don't think it's her business you're not not y'all not together you said that he does what he's supposed to do for his son you getting that child support checks your retirement checks till he's 18 years old you're straight so speaking on this i don't know what her purpose is but what she's saying is she wanted to speak on it based on her personal experience child and this is what she said i'm gonna play a little clip of it so y'all can get the gist of it i hope y'all can see this because i'm not trying to post this on the video so i'm gonna hit play real quick go ahead and play play for me here we go Let's blow it up. Hold on. Every wireless carrier claims they can save you money, but Spectrum. My team got their second or third phone call in connection to what happened last week. The domestic violence um, arrest. I had to say something because I see stories popping up with, you know, people trying to change my story and my na narrative. I see, I've, I've heard of reporters saying, oh, well, you know, can we get a comment from her? Didn't she say that Carl did the same to her? And I refuse to sit here and allow the world or anybody to change my story and my truth. So that's why I'm putting this video together. And, and, and let me just stress one thing, by no means, by no means am I trying to discredit anyone else's story. I know what that feels like. So that is not what I'm trying to do. I don't know what happened with the relationship before me. I don't know what happened with the relationship on me, I mean, after me. I stay in my lane. I'm just talking about my personal experience because I was engaged to be married to this man. I was with him for four years. And, and for any blogger or reporter to try to switch up the story as to why we broke up I think is disgusting you know and I have to protect my son I never want my son to see oh okay well mom and dad you know I see a story that he did this to her no he did not Carl has never put his hands on me Carl has never intimidated me Carl has never called me bitches and and holes or ever stood uh, uh, over me trying to intimidate me we never had that relationship yeah we broke up for other reasons but it wasn't for that and i also want to say for anyone okay all right because everything to her is disgusting and for me her doing this post to me is disgusting too why do i say that 
because this is a pending case. When you're somebody's accused of something and they haven't been charged or they're still investigating, it doesn't help for you to insert yourself and put your opinion in something that you yourself said that you have not, you weren't part of. Y'all remember, this is why I say what I say, because y'all remember when Tammy decided to insert herself and give her opinion about what she thought happened with uh, Chad and her. And she said, Tammy, you're fucking disgusting. That's what she told her because Tammy was inserting herself and having an opinion about something based on what she was told. And that say, basically what Tammy said was that had there had somebody not called the police or recorded it, she would have still been with Chad because that's who she wants to be with. And I believe that's who she wants to be with because she thought she was happy with him. And she basically told him in the, in the episodes that she was okay with him cheating so far as he used protection. But she didn't expect for him to be doing it three months after they, or a month or so after they just got married, you know, or before they got married. She already knew what the hell he was doing. Then when the last season that just came on, when OG basically let everybody know, you know, oh, Chosinko wanted me, best shade ever. Oh, Chosinko wanted me, boo. Yes, he probably did. And she posted receipts about basically old, um, Chad going after OG and now they're friends. She went after OG saying, you're basically threatening me with my abuse. You keep throwing it in my face. You know, how could you be friends with him? He did this to me. How could you be cool with him? As if the guy's supposed to be a bad guy to everybody else. And OG was saying, the experience you have with him is not the experience I have with him. He was good to me. He's been good to me. So that's basically the stance I'm going to take. But she was pissed off. Like, oh my gosh, how could you do it? It's wrong for you to even be around him, knowing what he did to me. Well, somebody else is claiming that they've been in your position right they're claiming that they've been in your position and we don't know what the facts are what the fictions are but this is somebody who's claiming they've been in your position you're now speaking up for somebody who's been in your position for the person who she said allegedly did this to her and you're over here inserting yourself because you're like i don't want my son to see this and think it's true you could have easily talked to your son when he got older outside of the media and clarified things to your son without us having to know about it to me you're cloud chasing you chose to insert yourself in this conversation because you want to look like somebody who's what what does this do for you y'all ain't together he's in another situation you say he's cool providing for your son you saying this i don't know would you want him back what is the point i don't get what her purpose of doing this is i know she she said that people are DMing her, but when people call me and I don't want to talk to my shit straight to voicemail, I don't need to speak to them. Why? I just feel like this is another way for her to be in the limelight and act like she's, you know, doing something right. But sometimes the type of thing that she does just don't make sense to me. It just doesn't. Explain to me why this was significant for her to even do when this is an open case. Why would you even? It's like having an opinion. We all know what Tara Cruz did with the Gabby Union situation. It was an open case. He inserted his opinion when the case was assault and diverted people's mind before the case was even resolved. You're doing the same thing here and talking about it's disgusting. This for everybody's this everything is disgusting to you except for the shit that you do. That shit don't make sense. Now, I'm going to also touch on what Shawnee did. Now, y'all know that Shawnee recently with the whole movement that's going on, she went online and posted on, Inst I think it was on Instagram, she went and made a post saying something along the lines of, let me read it to y'all. She said, we are black women. We do have a voice. We don't tear down other black women. Lie. Your entire show, the entire drama, Basketball Wives, has been to tear down black women on your show. Now, it's entertaining for those of us who know the difference between real and fake. But that's what you do. And ha every single season, there's some black woman on your show being attacked physically, fighting each other, arguing. This is not a way to uplift them, boo-boo. So stop lying. Then she said, we have felt the pain of not being heard and we've decided to be deliberate about building others. Last season when there was the whole colorism situation going on on your show, when OG was being targeted, when Phoebe was calling, was referring to Jackie as an animal saying, we don't want to get bit. When Jennifer was literally being attacked, she done got slept on your show over the table and it seemed like the only people that keep getting attacked on the show are people who are darker than we had the situation with Mika we had this I mean we just kept going on and on and on you took your platform and you tried to minimize what Evelyn had said instead of checking your friend and saying yo for you to go out there and put her as a monkey is not an appropriate thing to do because now we're being told that people who are protesting are animals you should have been quiet if you didn't have anything useful to say now that all these other celebrities that are coming out the world were speaking you're not even on the list. You decide to post this and say, oh, now our voices are being heard. No, everybody else's voices is doing what they're supposed to be being heard. Your little two-faced, lying ass, you and Mona, y'all are full of shit. Y'all need to just stop lying to us and acting like we're buffoons. Because we watch a show that you're using to make money off of. And it's not uplifting to our women. And you're getting millions of it. Put it to good use other than come post this bullshit online. But she kept going. 
If I didn't tag you, please don't be offended. I try to pick people I thought would do this challenge. All too often, we women find it easier to criticize each other instead of building each other up. With all the negativity going around, let's do something positive. Upload one picture of yourself, only you. Everything she said was like ass backwards. It's just, it doesn't fit the character of what she's portrayed on the show that she promotes. Girl, you need to just do yourself a favor. You and Evelyn, just stay out of the, just aside from the show, basketball wives, just be quiet. Get your coins because that's all that matters to y'all and just be quiet because what y'all do and what y'all say, it don't fit. When you want to advocate for something, but you go around and we have history of you doing the opposite of what you're advocating for. Just shut up. Just shut up. Keep giving us the juice. We'll watch it and we'll try to live our lives knowing that what you're doing is fake, but you're doing it because you want money. But when it comes to these type of stuff, stop it. Knock it off. You do not uplift black women on your show. That's a lie. Okay, even I know that's a lie and I'm the one who reviews those shows. It's a lie. It's a lie, boo-boo. It's a lie. Anyway, please like, subscribe, and the notification bell. I wanted to let y'all know that I'm going to start posting little announcements on whatever black bin black businesses I see that are prospering. I know that they're nowadays. That's what I'm going to try to make more effort to do is support people that look like me who are out there trying to do better for themselves. Because I know that a lot of a lot of communities that don't look like us do take advantage of the things that we do, like weaves. A lot of weave stores I go to are not owned by black folk. Let's just be clear. And yet we go there and we buy hair from them because that's what we use. Our, you know, nail salons. We go. To, I'm going to start doing going out of my way to support people that I feel like are working hard to uplift us. And that's how you help black people, honey. That's what you're supposed to do, Shawnee. That's what you're supposed to be doing. And to do that, I'm going to be posting stuff if I see a business that's black owned. For those of you who might want to try it out, try it out and let us know if it was a good product. For me, I wrote my book, Just Add Pepper, on Amazon under the title, under the author A.S. Blaine. Go check it out. Please support me for it. Let me know what y'all think. I'm going to also be doing my first nonfiction book that details in a lot of what's happening here, what we're dealing with now. But it's going to go into the how, it, how the biblical aspect of it plays a role how religion plays a role how and it's going to start from the very beginning and explain to y'all how we got to the now so those of you who don't have a clear history timeline on how things happen in a story form where you don't get bored or fall asleep like you do in class or the watered down version it will have pictures it will tell you everything in great detail i'm trying to get it out by the end of this year if i don't i'll do it early next year but i'm gonna let y'all know when that's out so you can really educate yourself because i don't think schools are gonna do it for us it's just not let me know what y'all think about episode two, what y'all think about the Evelyn situation and the Crawford situation and whether she should have even inserted herself and even had an opinion right now that it's going on. Go ahead and take a look at episode one. I really like you guys to let me know how this is going because I want to know if I should continue it. And you guys have a good day. Stay safe and take care of yourself. Bye.